I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today, the Arakwell people of the Bunjalung Nation, and pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Human Design Podcast with me, your host, Emma Dunwoody. I'm a qualified master coach and human behavior specialist, as well as being a qualified human design coach. And I work with clients every single day to answer the big questions. Who am I? Why am I here? And what is my purpose? I also assist them to transition from the person they think they should be to the person they really are on the inside. I teach people how to actually live their design instead of just knowing it. And if this is something that you want to do too, well, stay tuned or reach out for private coaching or human design unpacks where I show you exactly how to live your design. Hey, hey, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the Human Design Podcast. I am properly excited to have you here. There are so many exciting things going on in my life at the moment. And um, today I'm going to share something cool from my transformational human design, which is my method, my model that I've created from the last 20 years of study experience, working with clients, transformational coaching, human design coaching, um, and everything that is my line three and actually my three, five experience so far. Before I get to that, I just want to share with you how excited I am. We are a week and a half away from leaving for Spain for the Camino. If you're watching this on YouTube, you see me post Camino walk. My mascara has run and I have a big blonde Afro because it's raining at the moment. Um, But it's crazy to think that in two weeks, we will be walking the Camino de Santiago again. And I'm so looking forward to it. It's so exciting to think that that I have created a life and a business where not only myself, but my 2IC, the other person that runs my business with me, Taylor, can effectively take six weeks off to go and walk the Camino, have a life-changing experience and still have the whole business run beautifully and seamlessly and it's just it's just a moment of massive gratitude because it's this real realizing of a dream you know this is my heaven on earth this line three of mine needs adventure this mg that you're listening to needs adventure and i could not be more excited to be getting out there with um taylor and elizabeth and for those of you who um uh, have been playing along at home. My eldest son, Cooper, is working walking with us as well. Unfortunately, a few of our group have dropped off, um, but it just wasn't their time. And that just is the way that the Camino is. So yeah, in under two weeks, we will be walking the Camino and I will be sharing that journey with you guys as we walk. In the meantime, if you're a listener to the podcast, you probably won't even notice that we're gone because we've got some of the most incredible guests coming up. Um, I actually spoke to Elise Lunan this morning who has the podcast um, Pulling the Thread. You might know her from the Goop podcast. I interviewed Lee Harris last week and he blew my mind. We had a chat before I even pressed record and I wish I'd pressed record. Um, It was like meeting an old friend. He's the real deal. So beautiful, such a beautiful energy. And in this episode, he uh, channels the Zs for us. So he has a, or they have a message for you guys, which is super exciting. We've got some other amazing guests coming up. We have got so many exciting podcasts coming up for you that are going to be introducing you to things um, with transformational human design. So hang in there. And I'm going to bring a couple of episodes from the Camino as well, because I'm going to be surely learning so many cool things that I want to share with you guys. Um, uh, In other exciting news, our Mexico retreat is half full already and the early bird isn't even over. So if you want to join us in Mexico, you better get booking. We've set it up so there's easy payments 
So make sure you don't miss out. It's going to be incredible. We'll put the link in the show notes. We're staying in this five-star luxury place. Um, and we've got some cool guests that we're organizing as well, which is going to be super exciting. Um, also, as this podcast goes out, we probably have 12 hours, if that, left with the HDX doors open where you can receive so many incredible bonuses. Um, and if you've been thinking about joining HDX and you're just like umming and ahhing, I'd get on it because the price is going to have to go up very soon because of the level of content that we are creating in there the guests that we have in there, the events that we have in there. It is it is such a transformational experience and a world-changing community. So yeah, if you're even, if you feel like, yeah, I've always, I've been thinking about it for ages, but it's time to stop budding and get in. Absolutely come and join us. Uh, last week, I actually started with our first transformational human design class from the beginning. If you're wondering what I'm talking about with transformational human design, this is the culmination of the last 20 years of my my learning, my training, my life experience, my work, um, everything that has got me to where I am today. Now, it, it integrates human design, the gene keys, your intuition, transformational coaching, and NLP to really integrate your design. Of course, one of my big missions is to help you all be on purpose, to discover your purpose, to fulfill your purpose, to be that fully fulfilled version of yourself because we need you. We're moving towards this new paradigm and we need as many of us on this journey. We need as many of us raising our consciousness. What does that mean? It means we have to look at the things about ourselves that we don't like or we're afraid of. It means that we have to have dreams and move towards them, taking perfect action towards them. Um, it means that we need to be willing to take back our power and step into it and authentically put ourselves out there. So all the work that we're really focusing on at the moment is to support and empower you to do just that. So come join HDX, come join us in Mexico. You will be so so excited to have this transformational experience. Now, today I want to start, I'm going to focus on something that is super important when it comes to any change. And it's also somewhere where I feel human design can let you down. Now, when we're thinking of change, we want to change something in our lives. There is something that we feel isn't working. We might think that there's something broken or needs fixing. By the way, it doesn't. But that's how that's the way we feel. We might think that we've we don't have what we want. Now, to actually change from where we are to where we're going, what do we need? A goal, something to focus on. Now, I don't want you to get stuck with the whole goal word. It could be a goal, it could be an intention, it could be a feeling, it's your future self. It actually doesn't matter what we call it. And it's going to be the ego that gets attached to it. it's got to be this, it's got to be that, or it can't be a goal because I don't have a defined will center. It doesn't matter what you call it, but it's a future vision for yourself. It's a future feeling for yourself. It's a few pieces of gold that you know you want to be in the future. It's an intention of how you want to show up and therefore be in the future. And the reason why we need this focal point is because it gives us momentum. Now, this is actually something in my design. I have the gate nine in my design sun. And this is something for me that I know I'm here to teach to you because the times that I have lost focus of the dream are the times where I found myself in a hole. Uh, and sometimes really in a very deep hole, in a dark night of the soul, like very much in you know 28 through to 35 um depression panic disorder you know trying to work through my mental health and heal my mental health and we i think in the personal development world it's just gone so masculine like our goals have to be so clear we have to write it out we have to know exactly what we want and i i believe that the attachment to the way it should be is actually getting in our way so the first thing i want to say is and I actually, this, this is something that came from Abraham Hicks many, many years ago. 
don't worry about what you don't know. Just focus on a couple of things that you do know about what you want to focus on, what your goal is, who your future self is. Our future self is really important, yeah? And starting to have that idea of the future self and connecting to the future self, and I'll talk about this in future podcasts, um, is super important. But I don't want to go straight there because, again, I feel like our, our minds get so involved with, okay, well, I need to know exactly who my future self is and what what they do and and how they make money and how much money they make and what their purpose is and, and how they feel in their relationships and um so on and so forth. And that's getting in our way. So it's this balance. Hello, 34, sorry. Hello, 4037. It's all about this balance. It's this beautiful divine balance between I, the identity, the personality, the incarnated purpose, as Heather Ivany would say. It's that balance between the I, I want to earn this much money, I want to have an impact. I want to make the planet a better place. And this balance between the divine will, the heart, the connection to source. And often when we're in that space, we have very little detail and clarity. And our clarity comes more from that deep knowing inside of us or that, that deep feeling inside of us. I know for me, when I was in my really dark times, that even though I was so lost in the mental game, I was just constant fear, criticism, judgment, all of self, just this loop. And it was so painful. However, there was also this part of me, this tiny little whisper that knew that there was greatness that lay inside of me. And that's that focus I also want you to try and connect to. And the the reason why I want you to think about your focus, think about your goal, your intention, your future self, we're not getting caught up with specifically what that is right now, is because one of the things that I believe lets us down with human design is that it can be very two-dimensional. So we get it, we learn it, or we, we come to it and we resonate with it. We're like, wow, this feels really good. But there's no momentum. There's no momentum. It's not a forward moving process. It's a, I'm going to sit here and dive deep. And what can happen is it becomes overwhelming. Um, Often people get put off because they have gates that um, people say a lot of negative things about. Then they think, oh my God, is that me? Is my whole life going to be about arguing or crisis or um, struggle um, or addiction? But no, that's not... That's actually getting you stuck. So what I want to propose right now is that once we have a focus, once you have a focus, any focus, and that could be something simple as I want to feel fulfilled, or it could be as simple as I want to focus on earning 10 grand a month, or I want to focus on integrating human design into the business I already have. I want to become a human design coach. Um, or it could be the feeling, okay, because we manifest from our feeling. I want to feel confident to share human design. So we, we want to have a focal point. And the reason why is twofold. Number one, when we are focusing on what we want, it means we are out of our default setting in our brain, which is the negativity bias. The negativity bias is our unconscious default setting which means it's constantly focused on what we don't want. I mean, if I'm to ask you this question, if I was to ask you this question right now, what is it that you want a year from now? Can you tell me straight away? Could you write it down right now, what you want specifically a year from now? Probably not. What you do know is what you don't want. (laughs) That's what you know. So this is where we have to understand that although our human design is this beautiful energetic roadmap, We also have this incredible supercomputer that sits between our ears. And in most cases, it's driving. So we have to start to understand our design, learn our design, integrate our design, experiment with our design, and we've got to recondition this supercomputer. So it's not leading, but it's aligning. It's reconditioned to support our design. And the first place we must start is our 
focus. The second part is that when we have a focal point, when we're moving towards something, then we create momentum. It gives us purpose to our design. Because if we're just sort of without momentum, when we're learning our design, we can dive deep into all of it. And then when we come up to take breath, it's like, but I don't know how to actually live this. And it's because it's just learning. It's not momentum. It's not integration. It's not moving towards something. So our focal point, our focus, whatever that might be, gives us the opportunity to build momentum. When we're heading in a direction towards something or some being um, or some version of our future self and learning our human design, then we have this momentum that moves us. And as we move, then we can see our design start to show up in action, how it actually shows up in our everyday life, as opposed to this learnt expression of how it shows up or just looking to the past of how it's shown up in the past. And with that momentum, it gives us the ability to work through maybe the challenges or the shadow or trauma that needs healing or whatever it is. It's so important that we have something we're moving towards because otherwise, like so many people out there, we get stuck in the healing, in the shadow, in what we perceive is wrong with us or needs fixing, which there's nothing wrong with you and you do not need fixing. But these things are in fact lessons that we are here to move through through that actually this goal or focus or future self needs to learn so that that can be manifest so we can actually step into that person purpose that person um, actually step into our power so this week what I would love you to do is just to take a few moments or an hour or two hours you decide and just think about what that focus point is for you What is that goal? What is that intention, that future self that you want to step into? Because this is going to help you see your design show up. You're going to see how your strategy and authority works. You might even see how your incarnation cross plays out. You might get more clarity around your profile and how that shows up for you. Because with the momentum, comes clarity. With the momentum comes change. With the momentum comes integration. So it's so important to be focused on this future something. Having said that, once you have the focus, of course, you want to be that now. You want to be in that now. You want to be able to be focused on what is unfolding in front of you so that you can see the external clues. You can follow the synchronicities. You can see strategy and authority showing up in your life in real time. And then whenever you feel stuck again, whenever you feel like the momentum maybe has slowed, maybe you're a generator or a manifesting generator and you hit that plateau, you can look to that that, that focus point, that intention, that future self, and, you know, get that momentum moving again. Carve out some time and ask yourself, who do I want to be? And ask yourself, what do I want to have? What do I want to do? And who do I want to be? And that is going to help you integrate your human design and create lasting change. Thanks, everyone, for joining me today. I trust you got what you needed from the session. Alex says goodbye, and I look forward to having you all on the next podcast. Bye for now. Thanks, everyone, for being here all the way to the end of the podcast. I hope you got lots of value out of it. I certainly had a lot of fun doing it. Could I please ask that you share this podcast with friends if you found it valuable? And also, bonus points, could you leave a review for me as well on Apple? It would be greatly appreciated. If at any point you would like to be on the podcast or you've got questions that you'd like me to discuss on the podcast, by all means, get on my socials and DM me. Everything you need is there in the show notes. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.